Yeah. Seen the evidence and the proof right there. You know, the rebel out of his own mouth is calling Ariyah and Shah men of God. Apostle Ariyah and Apostle Shah men of God. And got the nerve to say, uh, we not with y'all. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you be with the men of God, dummy? And y'all can't understand this, man. If you know they're men of God, what are you doing not being with the men of God? <laughs> Does that make any sense? Then you've seen other people also testifying that we are the men of God. Now, why is all this being done? Why are people doing this? Because we are fulfilling prophecy. Because the Lord said they would do this. Let's read the book of Isaiah. The 61st chapter, and we're going to start at the 6th verse. And we're going to show you in prophecy that the Lord said these things will happen. Ain't nobody doing this to you guys. Nobody following you guys. Nobody will follow you to the damn talk. Isaiah 61 verse 6. But ye shall be named the priests of the Lord. Men shall call you the ministers of our God. God made you say that, rebel. He made you confess. So you can be set up. He's setting you up, man. The scripture says every idle word that come out of your mouth, you should give account of in the day of judgment. When you stand before Christ in the day of judgment, he's going to ask you, if you knew who the men of God were, why didn't you follow them? And what you going to say then, Negro? The scripture says you ain't going to have a damn thing to say. It said every mouth going to be shut because you knew that you're going to be guilty. It says that you're going to be speechless. How are you going to say confess that that's a man of God and come right back and say, but we're not with them. You're not with the man of God. Then who are you with? If you're not with the men of God, then who are you with? See, this is a question we got to ask ourselves. And this is a question that everybody that's watching this tape got to ask themselves. If they're not with the men of God, then who are they with? Either you're going to be with God or you're going to be with Satan. That's clear, ain't it? So if you're not with God and with the men of God, you are with Satan. Bottom line, let's go back to Jude and let's prove that. Jude, uh, what verse you in now, bro? Third verse. Jude, uh, Jude verse 3. Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that you should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the and saints. That's, that's what we're doing now. We fulfill, we're doing what God said to do. We're going to contend for the faith, man. A lot of you guys done deceived Israelites out there. The scripture says, Christ said about the Pharisees that they knew they wasn't going to the kingdom of heaven because they knew they was doing wrong. It said, you yourselves go not in. And then he said, you, in, you hindered others that was going in. You stopped them from going in. But you only stopped them for a short period of time because the Lord going to bring every, everybody that's supposed to be in there, the Lord going to bring them in, man. He's going to bring them in. Read on. For there are certain men Crept in unaware. See, all of them were in there. They done confessed that. They were all in the Israelite church of God and Jesus Christ. They crept in unaware. What was we not aware of? That they was the devil. That they were antichrists. That you were rebels. We thought you were brothers while you were in there. Read on. Who were before of old ordained to this condemnation. Yeah, you guys are set up, man. You already prophesied about in the Bible. The scriptures already told you that there, was be, there would be rebels. Somebody had to play that part. We're looking at them. Somebody had to play the part of the rebels. And we're looking at the ones that's playing the part of the rebels. So the ones of you that's in these organizations and didn't realize that you were being led by rebels, the Lord is giving you a chance to come on back to where it all started at. You rebels, you finish. All you guys that we recognize, the ones of you that was there of old time, you are not allowed back in. Don't even call up. Don't even ask. Read on. Ungodly men. Ungodly men. Ariane Shah, men of God. So what are you? An ungodly man. Read on. Turning the grace of our God into lasciviousness. Turning the grace of our God into lasciviousness. The Lord allowed you to come in and have a chance to learn the truth. And you guys, but because of your lust, because of your greed, because you wanted to be the ones in the forefront, left out and try to start your own thing and hindering Israelites from coming in. Going, and then when you left out, you're going to try to look exactly like us. You bootleggers. You carbon copies. You're going to put on the garments. You're going to take the 12 tribe sign, and then you're going to try to teach everything that you learned in there. And then try to say, you the guys. You idiots. Read on. 
and denying the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. And denying the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. You're denying him. How are you denying Jesus Christ? You are denying him. That's what the scriptures is talking about. Because you are not doing what he set you up to do. You're denying him because you're not doing what he set you up to do. Bottom line. Bottom line. Read on. I will therefore put you in remembrance, though ye once knew this. Read that part again. Read the fourth verse again. For there are certain men crept in unawares. Let me, let me deal with some of this denial part. There are certain men crept in unawares. Read on. Who were before of old <laughs> ordained to this condemnation. Matthew's the 12th chapter. Ungodly men turning the grace of our God into lasciviousness. Turning the grace of our God into lasciviousness. Read on. And denying the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, I want to deal with that because I have a feeling these guys are going to say, we're not denying Christ. They're going to try to, y'all know, they're going to try to tell the congregation, y'all know we teach Christ. So we're going to show you in the Bible, in the scriptures, exactly how they are denying the Lord Jesus Christ. Get Matthew's the 12th chapter, and we're going to start at the 30th verse. I want you to read all the way to the 31st verse. Matthew's 12, verse 30. Read. He that is not with me. He that is not with me. Read on. Is against me. Didn't you just hear that guy say, we're not with you guys. You heard him say that, right? right. He said, Arian Shah, men of God, but we're not with you. Right. Didn't he just say that? Right. Read it again. He that is not with me. He that is not with me. Read on. Is against me. So Christ out of his own mouth saying you denying him. Out of his own mouth he's saying it. Read it one more time. He that is not with me. Read on. Is against me. Read on. And he that gathereth not with me. The scripture says that we all supposed to be joined together in the same mind. That there's not supposed to be no divisions among you. So if you ain't gathering with Christ, then what are you doing? Read on. He that gathers not with me scattered abroad. You scattering the sheep of God abroad, man. They're supposed to be in one place, and you guys are taking them to a million different places. You're going to pay for that. The Lord going to get you for that. There's, there's judgments and there's prophecies in the Bible against you guys. And now it's time that Christ is going to deal with you. The time has begun when the Lord is going to clean up the trash of the Israelite church of God and Jesus Christ. He's going to pick up the garbage that we threw out. Read on. Wherefore I say unto you, all manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men. But the blasphemy against the Holy Spirit shall not be forgiven unto men. And that's what you guys are speaking against. When you're speaking against the doctrine of this church, got the nerve talking about we don't teach the same things. When you're teaching, when you're speaking against the doctrine of this church, you are blaspheming the Holy Spirit because it's coming out through the Holy Spirit. The scriptures tell you what? That Jesus Christ, that Jesus Christ was born of the Holy Spirit. The way he was born was of the Holy Spirit. He had a holy conception the scriptures is telling you that when you read Isaiah 7 verse 14 it says behold a virgin being that a virgin shall be with child everybody in their right mind know what a virgin is man a woman that never had sex the scriptures said that a woman that never had sex would be pregnant how you guys gonna sit there and try to blaspheme that you're gonna blaspheme that that will not be forgiven but yes, yet, but yet that was brought out by the Holy Spirit. Read on. And whosoever speaketh a word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. Give me the 33rd verse now. Verse 33. Either make the tree good and its fruit good. Either make the tree good and its fruit good. Read on. Or else make the tree corrupt and its fruit corrupt. You guys are out there trying to give the impression. You're just like the Pharisees and Sadducees. You're trying to make clean the outside of the cup. You trying to look like us. Listen, you know you, you guys know you ain't with us. You know that. So be out there and just be wicked, man. You guys know you against Christ. You know you anti-Christ. So won't you tell the people that? Read on. For the tree is known by his fruit. O ye generation of vipers, how can ye, being evil, speak good things? Yeah, you guys are evil. You off, man. The Bible clearly showing that you off. So how are you going to be out there trying to teach the truth? The scripture says unto the wicked, what has thou to do to declare my statutes, seeing that you hate instructions and take God's words and throw them behind you? You only use what you want to use. That's why you're not the truth now. 
So this is how you will get